of Jesus today. We ask, O oh God, in unity of faith, we yank those things off and we destroy them in Jesus' name. Father, Amen. we pray your way completely this morning. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We begin to worship the Lord this morning and give glory unto His holy name. Father, we thank you this So we are giving thanks unto the Lord, we are worshipping the name of the Lord, we are glorifying the name of the Lord, we are adoring the name of the Lord, we are reverencing the name of the Lord, we are worshipping Him. The Bible says, giving thanks unto the Father, who has made us to be partakers of the inheritance in life, who has delivered us from the power of the darkness, and has translated us to, to the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. Let's thank him for what he is doing in our midst. Let's thank him for the privilege to assess his truth. Let's thank him for the privilege to seek his name, to call upon him, to worship him. Let's adore the name of the Lord. Let's pray this holy name. Are you praying? Are we giving thanks to God? Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we glorify your holy name. Father, we worship you. Thank you, Lord, because what I'm doing all right. Thank you, Lord, because what I'm doing so continue to do. Thank you, Lord, because of my Lord and Bassi. Again, because of my Lord and Bassi. Father, we praise you, Lord. In God's name, we praise you. All of the love, we praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Want to come to the Lord this morning and ask him that this day is going to hear us. If there are issues, if there are things in our lives, in Psalm 66, verse 18, in verse 16, actually, the psalmist says, Come and hear, all ye that fear the Lord, and I will declare what he has done for my soul. He says, We are going to share testimony of the manifold thing God has done for him. And we need to look between words. But so Matthew can look in what can look. Sometimes he tells us where he's coming from and what God has done for him. I do that too. I do that too. I do that a lot. I remember where I'm coming from too. And I remember certain things I went through in Makoko and, you know, Morocco, is it Morocco now? and all those places and all of that. And sometimes I, I have to recollect certain things and all of that. And trying to remember my humble beginning. And the psalmist here was not saying, Come and hear all ye that fear the Lord, and I will declare what he has done for my soul. Not only that, for my soul. That is, he was saved, born again, and have hope of eternal life. For my soul. That means my soul will not be lost forever in the lake of fire. We want to thank God for what God has done for us. A pastor is on the platform, Pastor Shevon. And, you know, many of us can recollect where we are coming from. We can recollect how manifold blessings we have received. We can recollect how accidents would have claimed our life. In fact, me, I can recollect that. How many times accidents have come. And then I was here. My life, was, I was delivered, literally delivered. Oh, no, how can I forget? How can I forget some few accidents I have encountered in life? And then I was literally delivered. You can tell that this one cannot die like this. In the name of Jesus, we want to thank God for the deliverance in various ways and in various times. How can I forget what God did for my wife and me? She would have died. 
she would have left this world in May 30th, 31st. But the Lord delivered her literally even when she collapsed completely. Oh, God. Let's give oh, her. Oh, Lord, Lord. Let's be asking oh, her. And asking her. And unto God. Without oh, saying. God is love. God. Oh. And God is God is good. Oh, Almighty God, everlasting Father God, our God and our Father, as we look back again, Considering all that you have done in our lives at one time or the other, in fact, how many are we going to count to God? They are uncountable. They are two, they are numerous. In fact, they are innumerable. Oh God, what shall we render unto you, God? Even if I have thousands of tongues, they are not even enough to appreciate all that you have done. Don't come to think about all your deliverances in our lives. Many a time, you may not to escape from the hand of kidnappers that will have used us for money-making rituals. I remember many years ago that you delivered me from accidents of different, different types. In fact, in a different, for different points in time. Almighty God, everlasting Father, is he talking mm. about our children? We were once sick at one point or the other, and you yeah. raised them up again by your mighty power. Almighty God, yeah. everlasting Father, Lord, we appreciate you this morning. Heavenly mm. Father, we say thank you, Lord, because mm. you are such a wonderful and a loving God, a gracious and a marvelous God you are. Thank Man. you because of the abundance of your mercy. Mercy all over us. Your mercy that encompassed us in the day, in the night, oh God. He did not allow the enemy, the devil, to rejoice over us. He did not allow the enemy, the devil, to rejoice <laughs> over our wives. He did not well. allow the enemy, the devil, to rejoice over our children. He did not allow the enemy, the devil, to rejoice over our family members. He did not allow the powers of darkness to prevail over <laughs> us, oh God. Almighty God, everlasting Father. Oh Lord, we appreciate you for the way you have been keeping us. How many years now since we left that Makoko District Church? Lord, your grace has been helping all of us. Even Indeed. though we are scattered, yeah. we are scattered everywhere. Yeah. Your grace is sustaining us. Father, we thank you. Amen. We want to go before God this morning in that verse 18 of Psalm 66. After he has said, come and hear you that declare, I will declare what he has done for my soul. In verse 18, I jump to verse 18. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the GS interpreted that place this way some, some years back. If I love, if I cherish iniquity in my heart. Do you know there are people that cherish iniquity in their heart? They are not bothered. Mm-hmm. When lost, come into their heart. They are not burdened. When there are some kind of uh, uh, unseemly behavior begin to creep into their life, they just gloss over it. They gloss over those things. And all of that, that's like cherishing. That's like loving iniquity in the heart. It might not be displayed yet outwardly, but secretly, it's like somebody who is secretly desiring another woman, another person's wife. It's like somebody secretly desiring somebody else's property and that thing is that rather than say what is happening and pray it and yank it off his heart is even trying to cherish it in his heart we want to pray this morning we know that god is iniquity and if there is anything or any name about god that is so unique it is the the holiness of god the attribute of holiness is not something mm-hmm. to transform about Abacock 1 13 says, of a purer eye than to behold iniquity. The scriptures say God cannot look at sin. No wonder he left Jesus on the cross when he carried the sin of the old world. 
on te kai ato kai elai elai lama sapatanai. I want to pray and say, oh God, in the name of Jesus, any kind of ayota of sin, particle of sin, drug of sin, what a splash of sin. Maybe it's a splash, maybe it's a drug, maybe it's a particle splashing on us in any way that can make our prayer to be abomination unto God that can make our intercession to be abomination unto God, that can make our crying, our devotion to be abomination unto God. This morning, let the blood that was shed, the everlasting blood, be applied to our heart, be applied to our soul, be applied to our spirit. You know what? The blood is so powerful that it's so mighty and so efficacious, it can wash anything. Let's talk to God in prayer this this morning, that we will not just gather, we will not just pray, we will not just see God with iniquity, with pain, with blaming, with fault, with wrinkles, with anything defied in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we talk to God? Everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I come, O oh God, this morning once again. Righteous God, everlasting Father. Oh, dear Lord, immortal God. Oh, dear Father God, I am asking, oh God, that the power in the blood of Jesus Christ will remove every dross, every dross of iniquity, every iota of sin, every flash of it. Father God, every spot or wrinkle. Oh God, I'm asking in my thoughts, in my imagination, in in my body, in my mind, in my reasoning, in my thinking, let the power in the blood of Jesus cleanse everything out of me in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Genesis Amen. chapter 18. Genesis chapter 18 in verse 17. And in verse 16. And the man rose up from there. Actually, when the Bible Bible using the word men here, they were actually the three angels and God himself was among, the Lord himself was among. Uh, in other words, there were two angels and the Lord himself. And it was actually that Lord that was speaking to Cyrus and he said, and the Lord said unto Abraham, if you look at verse 13, wherefore the Sarah love, that's God, you see it in capital letter there. And then when you come to verse 17, and the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Shall I hide from Abraham? Many of many times things happen in our family and they, they just overtook us. They just came to us on our way. And it's like we are not just aware and they just hit us like this. This is God asking himself questions. That shall I hide from Abraham? We want to pray unto God this morning. Men are gatekeeper. I, I see some young men. Uh, I see some posts online, or see some young men. Rather, let me put it that way. Who are desiring? Uh, let's get this clear. They are desiring women who are very prayerful, sisters who are very prayerful. I will be praying and praying and praying for them. But why they themselves, they are lazy in prayer, they are cold and lukewarm and lethargic, they are neither spiritual nor totally worldly. They are just in between. They are like secular men. And those kind of people, they will, hey, no, 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 they will be shocked what will happen if they get married. Because the truth is that the men, we are the gatekeeper. Actually, in the desire of God, we are to protect the family. Should anything go wrong, whether it's a woman that is responsible, the man will be held responsible. Many people don't know that. They just go on social media and be typing things. This woman is which? This woman is that? This woman is that? The man will be held responsible. That's why when sin came in, God did not go to Eve. God knew that at Eve, of course, God is so many signs. He knew he knows every all things. He knew that Eve was the problem. He knew that Eve was the one that was deceived. And what did, what did he do? He came to Adam. He was expecting Adam to have done the right thing. And so he came to Adam, where are thou? He didn't say, Adam, if where are thou? He didn't even combine them. He just asked, Adam, where art thou? Why? Because he was a gatekeeper. 
Ezra was a gatekeeper. And yet, yeah, Abraham understood that he was a gatekeeper and he was doing the right thing, teaching his family, carrying his family along. No wonder when the, 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 the three angels came, that's God and the two other angels, when they came, no wonder he could easily, uh, you know, accept them in and went in and quickly instructed their wife, oh, you have prepared it. And they did that in so sharp, telling you that the home is orderly. Their home has been very orderly. And before they knew it, the food was ready. Everything was ready. You don't have to put three points in our message before things we go. Everything was just in order. That's an orderly home. No wonder God was not asking himself questions. This is the prayer we want to pray now. We want to ask God. That the quality of Abraham, that made God to ask this kind of question, may God bestow that quality in us. The quality in Abraham, that made God to say, shall I hide the thing I'm going to do for Abraham? Can God say that about us as men? Can God speak that about us as leaders? Can God speak that about us as men? Can God say that about our own? That things before things are all we are with, can God say no? Can I ask this for me? Can I ask this for me? Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, everlasting Father God, I come unto you, my God. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, right of God, I am asking my God and my Father, oh Lord, that God that will make, my, make me and my family members, oh God, people that you can depend upon, oh God. Oh Lord, everlasting Father God, I'm asking, oh King of glory. Lord, that will make me people that you can depend upon, that you can rely upon. Oh, great God, everlasting Father God, in the name of Jesus, Almighty God, and everything of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As men, when we, at least, uh, 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 this is prayer, and uh, I, I'm sure by the grace of God, we know that this way of it, particularly myself, I don't plan, I don't, many a times, I don't even plan prayer points I will leave. If I started leaving, most of the time, the prayer point comes. And I, I don't restrict them as they come. I don't, even the passages I use. And so even this morning now, I woke up very late. So as I'm leaving now, I want to believe that the direction the Lord will want us to go. And as we pray very sincerely from the depth of our heart, God will hear us. Now, I yes. read from the scripture in that verse 17, and shall the Lord, uh, and the Lord said, shall I hide from Abraham that which I do? I want to pray this morning that we will not be blind pastors and blind leaders, blind men, blind husbands who cannot see danger, who cannot sense danger. There is this uh, uh, organism. We have various unicellular organisms, but there is this particular unicellular organism. The name is Yoglena, Yoglena. Your glena have eyes, but that eyes is not meant for seeing. It does not see. That animal does not see. But that eyes is for what we call sensitivity. So your glena can be somewhere now as an animal, but you could sense danger. And then you will know when there is danger around. But do you know there are believers that cannot sense any danger? They are, they are so earthbound, so earthbound, so earth buried that they, they don't know signal, antenna is not receiving anything at all. We want to pray and say, oh God, we will be sensitive to the heavens. We will be sensitive. My God, our antenna will be high. Our antenna will be God, I'm asking, oh God, everlasting Father, Lord, we we'll look up to you this morning. Our spiritual thermometer will be so high, oh God, detecting everything, oh Lord. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God. Lord, we ask for you the most sensitive be into our heart, into our life, into our soul, into our spirit, into our mind, oh Lord. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, Lord, begin to put that supernatural sensitivity upon our own God, to be sensitive to the voice of the Spirit of God. 
So they Amen. thank him for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Now, now, this is it. This is it. Sometimes you hear some Christians, they say, hey, this man just suddenly fell into immorality. There is nothing like that. That's a joke. Nobody f- suddenly. That was sudden. It's even a lie. It's lie. Nobody suddenly fall into immorality. That's the truth I'm saying now. Nobody suddenly. That was suddenly. Yes, somebody can fall into immorality and a genuine man of God. Yes, I understand. But that was a suddenly fall. No. There must have been an antenna. You see, the way we are made by God, even personally, I have, I have observed this, that if a lady keeps chatting me, I'm married, and keeps chatting me and all of that, I'll begin to sense something. No, I need to reduce this. Even though it's an innocent chat. No, there must be. You are married and married, or you are a young lady and all of that. And I also make sure, it's not as if I would, the chat will not be one secluded for my wife and all that, even when my wife is there. And if you call, I also probably be talking the thing out. There must be something you use to protect yourself. There must be some principle you put in place. But you know what some people do? They seclude a lot of things from their wife. Men secluding a lot of things. And then before you know, the antenna, even when the antenna is speaking, I say be careful, be careful, they will allow the antenna to be dead on its own because of their mm-hmm. self will And then before mm-hmm. you know it, once the antenna is no more, the woman keeps coming, the lady keeps chatting, the lady keeps doing this and doing that. Before you know, the wall of protection of that man is going down. It's going down. Mm. It's going down. Before you know it, the man will not even know. When they will be laughing sheepishly with this lady, when you will no, no, nothing. Before you know it, Lord will fill the heart. Before you know it, thing coming. Just before mm. you know it, from attention, too much attention to affection. For affection like this to passion, from passion to infatuation, from infatuation to fornication. And it begins like that, like that, like that. It's not as if it will just start with fornication. No, it all begins somewhere. That's why you hear some choir master with this one fell into sin, this one. Giving attention to a particular sister over and over. And then without any guiding principle, without any boundary, we want to pray. Holy Father, our spiritual world will not collapse. Amen. Our Boundary will not allow. How will it be that falling into immorality? How are we going to explain to our wives? How are we going to explain to our members? How are we going to explain to the church of God? The Lord will help us. Our spiritual antenna will be high. Our Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Everlasting Father, we look unto you, God. Once again, this morning, my Father. Lord, help us, O God, that our spiritual antenna will not collapse, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of the living God, help us that will not grieve you. Lord, in any way we have grieved the Spirit of God to the point that we are no longer sensitive again to the voice of the Holy Spirit. O God, Spirit of the living God, help us, O God. Bring us once again back to the right track, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty yep. God, I'm asking my Father God that you so help us, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that our spiritual antenna, O God, will be, will be so high, O God, to detect everything that is going on around us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I ask you, my Father. O oh God, Amen. Yeah. Me, I'm reading uh, in that uh, Psalm, uh, in that uh, Genesis chapter 18. There's a very powerful prayer point there, very powerful prayer point there. And uh, we might we will learn great from that prayer point. Can you imagine Abraham holding on to God and giving God condition? You know, there are men of God like that, they don't just pray, they tell God something. For example, they come to a city and they are telling God, God, this, 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 what they want, this, 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 that. Now, there's a place of authority. And that authority is not something you just about. You know, some people just say, I claim, I claim. <laughs> no, 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 it's not done that way. There's a level of intimacy you get to that you cannot begin to claim something. It's like in chemistry. We have various levels. Lima, Bama, Bake, Bashan, and Pifon Siri. Don't Siri, you don't just jump. You must absorb energy before you move from a particular series to a higher series. You must absorb another energy to move for those who understand chemistry. 
And you can also leave that higher series. You refuse to absorb energy, and there will be an emission. Then you go down like that. It is like that in the spirit realm. Some people want to come and pray the way Jesus is praying in Kusay. You might be, the person might be disappointed and discover that nothing happened. Not because he's not a servant of God. He's a servant of God. It's not as if God has disappointed him. No. It's not as if God has denied him. No. There's a level you get to that it's like when they say, hey, feed my shark. Yes, exactly. Uh, you are a brigadier general. You are a captain. You are... So there's a position you put yourself. God, you say, yes, you have gotten it. That reminds me of the story I had. I was to tell the story uh, as I was showing this place, the way I want to read. There is this man called uh, Linsa Summary, uh, was, uh, the Summary, the Javada, very powerful man of God. And he went to a place, he's a white man now, so he went to a place, and it's like there was another man of God in that city who had been praying for an issue, something like that, whether for the community or for the city. Linsa Summary now, at, uh, now landed in that place. Something happened. The man of God who have been praying for a very long time, maybe I'll get the story later very well, but let me just put it this way. The lesson I want to learn. He now discovered something. Only for God to tell that for that my servant is in town. My servant is in town. The God of God a signal and all of that. Can you imagine that God telling him it's like another man of God, somebody was to die abroad, and God was speaking to that man here, and he was about to fight. And then we have to travel down quickly to meet the person before the person. Now, what am I saying here? Look at what Abraham did here. Abraham held up to God, and he was telling God, giving God condition. We want to pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will help us to pay the price to increase our authority. You see, I am not saying God will increase our authority. No, God will help us to pay price. There are prizes. There are prizes to pay. There are serious prices to pay. There are serious prices. Not by that country. If the GS give us our, his commitment to all. Many of us even know some of the things he did. Some of the commitments he made. Some of the sacrifices he made. That's it. Want to pray? The Lord will help us to be ready to pay the price. So that we are sent to the level. He has destined. He has desired for us. Shall we pray? Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you be the this God I need to make. Who God, Father, to attend to a higher state. Who God, I pray you will give me the grace to be the Lord. You will give me the grace to pay the price in the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. The Bible tells us. There are times they will go to the There are times they will set time apart. The Bible tells us no. and Jesus set himself apart and will be in the mountain. Oh Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will help me by your grace and by your power to set myself apart in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Lastly, as I hand over to Pastor Mike, and then maybe 15 minutes to the time you can hand over to Pastor how to prepare for work now. Very quickly, we are going to pray. We saw in the life of Abraham that the old was orderly, and that's why instruction was going and all of those. We are going to pray lastly, our own will be orderly. There are okay. some old that you find Chaos every now and then. Chaos, misunderstanding. Yeah, there is bound to be misunderstanding, but that's not the issue. But the point is, there are some, oh, it's a perpetual misunderstanding, perpetual every now and then, kilo day, and then you talk like that, and they'll be justifying it. Quarrel, quarrel, quarrel. And you know, when you find a oh, where there's always quarrel, quarrel, misunderstanding, before you know it, the woman begins to have deep, have problem with people. Before you know it, the man begins to have a problem with BP because you are giving energy to the cells of your body. Before you know it, the terminal disease or sickness has come. We want to pray in the name of Jesus, our own will be orderly. There will be serenity in our own. There will be serenity in our own. Over to Pastor Mike. Please take over from here. Thank you, sir. 
Let's call upon the name of the Lord, as we have heard, that there will be serenity in our homes. There will be peace. Mm -hmm. There will be tranquility. Our homes be peaceful. Our homes be peaceful. Our homes be peaceful. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every home, Lord God of heaven, you are the Prince of Peace. Let peace reign. Let the peace of God dominate, oh God, in every family, oh God, in our various, in the name of Jesus Christ. And quarreling and fighting, misunderstanding, oh Lord. Almighty God, totally eradicate them out of every okay. family, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask for, O oh God, that the establish unto you, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. God, enter all our homes. In Jesus' name, we pray. In the heart of Amen. every, every beloved, in the name of Jesus Christ. One prayer point before we I hand over to Pastor Matthew. One prayer point. We want to pray rigorously. We want to pray radically. We want to pray with what some people call holy anger. Mm. Beloved, enough is enough. Mm. In our families, enough is enough. Mm. In the church of the living God, Enough is enough. Mm -hmm. I want us to pray. And call upon the Lord. Any family that has been swallowed up, any family that agent of the devil and not chewing like gum, mm -hmm. any family that the devil and his courts and I'm drinking like water. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, all our families, families in the church, families in the, in, in, among the people of God that have been swallowed up by the devil, by the, by the fire of the Lord, that family will be vomited in Jesus' name. Open your mouth. Everlasting Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, great God, everlasting Father God, I'm asking you, Lord. Every family that be swallowed up, oh God, by the, by the forces of darkness, by the agents of darkness, and the tormenting of families, oh God. Tormenting the children, tormenting the wives of the children. Nobody can swallow up the children and Lord, our family to fire. Oh Lord, such families, oh God, my Father God, they shall be vomited and God on the earth of the earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, I'm asking, oh Lord, that the power of the fire of the Holy Ghost begin to fire families, oh God. Almighty God, I'm asking, my Father God, Every strange God, I pray. Where the husband has been swallowed up, where the wife has been swallowed up, where the children have been swallowed up. Causing problems, causing chaos, causing pandemonium. Oh Lord, everlasting Father, even nothing is supposed to be with me. All those powers, all those dangers, will silence you and will chase you out. Out of every family of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, and our family is for Jesus, and our family is for the King of Kings, and our family is for the Lord of Lords, and our family is for the Son of Light, the Son of Lord Jesus Christ, and our family is for for you, the devil, and our family is for for demons and evil spirits. How mighty God and Christian, oh Lord, Lord, so family, oh Lord, begin to have your way in such families, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, mighty God, I'm asking, do it, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The resources in the family have been swallowed up. Oh, mighty God, I'm asking, O God. The job of the wife has been swallowed up. The job of the wife has been swallowed up. The job of the wife has been swallowed up. The job of the wife has been swallowed up. The job of the wife has been swallowed up. The job of the wife has been swallowed up. The job of the wife has been swallowed up. The job of the wife has been swallowed up. The mighty God, all the finances of the family that have been swallowed up, 
all our females who have been swallowed by God, let the enemy be killed for vomiting by fire. Oh, Lord, let the enemy be killed for vomiting by fire. Oh, say God, all our fortune, oh, Lord, all the children, all the promotion, all the successes, all the prosperity of the family, that they swallowed up, oh God, we command the enemy right now by fire. So they get to vomit everything from us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the enemy come to the people and vomit everything from the door. Rise up, God, now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, all our successes, all our prayers.
In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Father, we give you all the glory. We appreciate you this morning. Thank you for the privilege of presence to pray. What a wonderful thing. Sweet hour of prayer. Sweet hour of prayer where we have, where we have encounter with our maker. Where we have encounter with our Savior, our Redeemer. Sweet hour of prayer where we have a breakthrough. Sweet hour of prayer at the, at the place of prayer where we have the, our joy being full and being supplied in its fullness. Oh God of heaven, we thank you for the families. We have lifted on our families, families of the brethren, families of the leaders, families of the workers, families of the members, families of all the online brethren, even if you are if you are. Father, we pray God much more than what you God. You will do for us, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we are asking and praying, oh God. All the things that the enemy has swallowed. Everything, all the good, good things in the family. The joy that is missing in the family. The peace that is missing in the family. The happiness that is missing in the family. The prosperity that is missing in the family. The oneness that is missing in the family. The harmony that is missing in the family. In fact, even the successes and the progress that is missing in the family. This morning, we command the enemy to begin to vomit everything out now, even unto us, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, this day will make a declaration upon every family concerned, O God, before now where there have been tears and sorrow and sadness. We declare this morning, from this very day, O God, let joy, fullness of joy and happiness and goodness of God, let it flow into that family now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we honor you, God. We appreciate you this morning. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, we are still going to the family situation. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the, our pastor are praying about the uh, orderliness in the family. Uh, you know what belong unto the Lord? And then he gives it, give it to whomsoever he loves. It doesn't matter whether you are the firstborn, the secondborn, or the third born. We have seen, we have seen a lot of issues whereby, whereby the first born uh, uh, is richer than the second born. We have seen, we have seen a lot of issues whereby, whereby the second born is richer than the uh, than the first born. But in many cases, we the human being we want to, we want to change things. And the result, many times, many times it, uh, it doesn't come out well. We see the situation of uh, uh, Esau and Jacob, what the mother did. Yes, she did it. Uh, to me, I fully believe either Rebecca did it or not. God, God will have taken Jacob to where he wants to take him to. But, but see we see the consequence on the Jacob. Even when Jacob has on Rebecca, when Jacob has become rich, he missed the, he missed the richness of Jacob. Uh, many, uh, many times, our couples, our couples they, they don't, don't learn from the mistake. From the mistake. I've seen an issue whereby a couple, his spouse, brought his mother to the family. By the time he brought his mother to the family, the mother has more than nine children. Let's say nine children. Then, out of that nine children, the, the spouse was able to marry a better husband. Then when the mother see it, it was like, God, so you can bless people like this. 
Why not my children? Then the vision, the vision started. The mother started doing all what he could do. So that that kind of blessing that is on the husband will be on our own children too. Then you can see what is happening. Started manipulate the wife so that she can concentrate on a sibling. And as a result of that, it started affecting the family. Because the wife cannot give more attention to the other. He has forgotten that, okay, this is my own family. Because the mother has influence on her, as mother has influence on Jacob, the family started scattering. So we need to pray for all the family in that kind of situation. Out of ignorance. The blessing God has been bestowed upon them. They use their hand to bring the third hand in and destroy the family. We call upon the name of the Lord for every family in that kind of situation. Why by the plan of God for them, they have allowed the third party he turned it down, upside down. Do not forget the what the Bible says. He said, yes. The wife would leave his father, his father and mother and come to the husband's house. And whatsoever, either mother, whatsoever, either father, and whatsoever, and that sibling, they shouldn't put asunder. But that of being glorious, we many couple have allowed the third party to turn their pa- their family upside down. We call upon the name of the Lord. For many family that is in this, that kind of this case, the Almighty Father will deliver them in Jesus' name. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon our name of the Lord. That many family they are going through a lot. Through the mother in law, through the sister in law, through the father in law. And as a result, as a result of, that, of that, the family, the family is, is not in order. They are, they are forgotten that what God, God has done together, nothing should separate them. No matter what the situation, God has a purpose for every family. But out, out of ignorance, out of ignorance, maybe it is husband. I say, oh, no, 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 my sibling falls. Yeah, but, yeah, but God knows how to take care of the sibling. Maybe it is his wife. They say no matter what the case may be, this is, this is my mother. She is, is the one that put blood on my eyes. She is the one that takes care of me. She is the one that do this thing for me. But God knows how to take care of her. God knows how to take care of her before your marriage. She is the one that created your mother before your marriage. It's the one that created your father. And that was forever. God has brought together. God has brought together. God has brought together. Brought together. Brought together. Brought together. Let no man who has been asunder. Let no man who has been asunder. Yes, I will train my sister. Because my father cannot take care of her. And as a result of that, I just need to take care of her. No matter what is going to cost my family. There's nothing concerned me. Or your, your father, has, has, your, your sister has, has his own destiny. destiny. Your, 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 your brother has his own destiny. He wants to fulfill. Why do you, do you want to bring the body? Body? Does, 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 does we say you should not help them? No. Do not help them to the extent that it will affect your family. Do not help them to the extent that it will affect your husband. Do not help them to the extent that it will affect your wife.
to your so head. head. And you destroy your family. Your family. As a result of this, the one that is saying to my wife, listen. But it is not possible. I must do this. I must take care of my mother. And your wife is saying, my wife is saying, that's what I'm saying. You are only doing your family. But you say no. My sister is the sister of my children. Remember, Abba, Abba. Can you remember? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father in heaven, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you and we reverence you for the way you have led us this morning. Thank you, Father, for your spirit. Thank you, Father, for the strength. Thank you, Father, for the enablement. Father, accept our thanks and our praises. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 in your word that when we call upon you, you will answer. And so, Lord, I pray that everything you have, we have told you, even this morning, oh, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, you say if we pray according to your will, that you hear it us. Oh, God, answer all the requests one by one and grant us Immediate answer in Jesus' name. Amen. Your people are going to walk. As we go, oh God, Father, let your presence go with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we are praying that this week, goodness and mercy will follow us in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray whatever we lay our hands to do, it will prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray that love for the family, that God, our families, oh God, from today, Lord, we will see your hand, we will see the finger of God rewriting our story in our families in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That in the name of Jesus, from today, our family will never remain the same in Jesus' name. Amen. We are praying for the global crusade that will be starting this week. Oh God, make this week the week of your power the week of possibility, the week of your miracle, the week of salvation, the week, oh God, of blessing for your people in Jesus' name. Amen. You will strengthen the man of God. You will empower him. You Amen. will strengthen him. Amen. You will Amen. give him revelation. Amen. Amen. God, I pray. He will be stronger than ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Amen. You will give us fair weather in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, let all the honor, let all adoration, thank you, Lord, and let the blessing be ours in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, for answering prayer. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Let's share the grace together. May the grace, the grace of, our of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, the love of God, 
and the fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Goodness and mercy for us. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Meet on Thursday. Thank you. Pastor Jacob, meet on Thursday. Meet on Thursday, Say title Oh, 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 no, 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 okay, thank you, God bless you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you, God bless you.